name is Dr. Maria Giroux and I'm an obstetrics and gynecology resident at the University of Saskatchewan. The OBGYN Academy has created a series of videos about COVID-19 that we would like to share with you. In this video, we're going to talk about prevention of infection. So how is COVID-19 transmitted? The most common transmission is through droplets. So when somebody coughs or sneezes, people around them, especially if they're within two meters or six feet, can get affected. So this is why it is so important for social distancing to happen. The other uh, way that the virus can get transmitted is by touching a surface that's contaminated with the virus and then touching your face, so touching your eyes, your nose, your mouth. So that's uh, why it's so important to make sure that you wash your hands. So you can use soap or water or you can use a hand sanitizer to make sure that your hands are clean before you touch your face. There was a study in the New England uh, Journal of Medicine that basically looked at how long does the virus actually stay on surfaces. And they looked at something called half-life. So one way to think about half-life is that if you have this much of the virus, and how long would it take for this concentration of the virus to get to half of, it, of that concentration? So they looked at how long is it for different types of surfaces. So what does that mean? So that means that on plastic, if you have this much amount of the virus, it would take 6.8 hours to get half of that concentration, and then another 6.8 hours to get half of that concentration, and then exponentially the concentration goes down. So what that means is that the virus can stay on surfaces for a prolonged period of time, and that's so important to disinfect the surfaces. Another way to transmit the virus is through something called aerosols uh, during aerosol uh, generating procedures. The, these procedures include intubation, extubation for surgery, uh, using a BiPAP machine, uh, CPR with a bag valve, Optiflow nebulization, uh, CPAP, bronchoscopy. So not something that uh, most people have in their day-to-day -day life. So how do we prevent the virus transmission? It is so important to practice social distancing. So we know that um, the, the droplets containing the virus um, can spread when the person sneezes or coughs. So if somebody is within two meters or six feet, then that person can get infected. So it's important to make sure that you stay away from the person beside you by about two meters or six feet. Um, and it's important to make sure that you avoid shaking people's hands, hugging, kissing, and you want to minimize in-person meetings and group activities so you can use the uh, internet like FaceTime, Skype, and other um, video conferencing apps in order to communicate with other people. It's important to avoid crowded spaces and you can still go outside if you're symptomatic. It's just important to keep social distance when you're outside. So what are some of the other ways in which you can prevent the spread of infection? Social distancing is so important, so stay at home if you can. The next thing is washing your hands. So it's so important to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And I tend to carry hand sanitizer, uh, and I find it's very useful for making sure that hands are clean. And you can use um, cream uh, between using hand sanitizer, washing your hands, to make sure that they, um, the skin surface doesn't become too dry. Other ways to prevent the spread of infection is not touching surfaces and then touching your eyes, face, mouth, nose. So you want to make sure that your hands are well away from your respiratory tract. If you cough or sneeze, then use the tissue and then discard it. So throw it away. Um, don't hang on to it. Uh, don't put it on different surfaces and wash your hands afterwards. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, wear a mask. So that's so important to prevent spread to other people. And if you're a healthcare worker, it's important to use um, personal protective equipment and make sure that you use it properly and to make sure that you wash your hands appropriately. 
It's important to avoid sharing household items like dishes, eating from the same uh, plate using the same utensils, uh, make sure that you wash uh, dishes with soap and water. Uh, you want to make sure that you, when you flush the toilet, put the lid down when you flush. Uh, you want to make sure that you clean and disinfect the common area. So if uh, you live in a place where you have multiple roommates or multiple people living in the same place, you want to make sure that the common areas are disinfected to prevent the spread of infection to other people. Um, if you get symptoms, self-isolate. And we have a video of self-monitoring versus self-isolation. Other things you can do is um, avoid going out to crowd places, public places, so social distancing. And uh, WHO or the World Health Organization does not recommend surgical masks if you don't have respiratory symptoms or if you don't have any travel history. Um, so. Uh, Today, that is the recommendation for them. So overall, there's lots of things that you can do to prevent the spread of infection and to flatten the curve. And most importantly, stay home.